at that dial and you're going to see that there's a hole on the dial itself so you can take a look at the movement or the timekeeping device. You're going to also notice the size of this watch is rather large, but it feels very slim on the wrist. The true secret to the design, what Orient has tried to do here, is keep it super clean and I think they have achieved exactly that. For those unfamiliar with uh, Orient brand, Orient's hallmark throughout 60 years of continuous we have the classic diver watch that we like to call the Mako XL. This Mako XL has the traditional matte black dial with the glossy black bezel. Powering this watch is the reliable Orient in-house caliber 46943 movement, featuring both day and date functionality at the 3 o'clock position. All three hands have been loomed as well as the indices. The movement is housed in a stainless steel case which is 44.5 millimeters in diameter and has a 200 meter depth rating with a screwed down crown for added water protection. The 60 click bezel is unidirectional and this Mako XL has been mounted on a solid stainless steel bracelet featuring a two button folding clasp with a safety. I also want to say that Orient Watch USA is the only US based company with a direct relationship with uh, this black leather band. All right, gonna go off. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the watch. I'll be right back. Hey, folks, this is Mark again. Let's take a look at this watch, and we'll and I'll go ahead and tell you the functionality of the movement first. Now, just so you know, this watch is powered by something that looks close, that looks similar to this. Now, this is what they call a mechanical movement. Now, this is a dummy piece, as you can see, it's not really working. But I want to show you that this watch is not powered by any sort of battery or capacitor. It's it's uh, basically like. You know one of those wind-up toys they used to have where you just wind it up and it will work for a short period of time? This is same, it's a similar principle with these mechanical watches. We have a spring that powers the entire watch. Alright, so we got right over here, we have three hands. The hour. Hey folks, this is Mark with OrientWatchUSA.com and this is the Orient Vintage. The SKU for this model is FFD OF 004WO. Now, this uses an in house mechanical movement. The caliber number is 46N45, and it does come with an automatic winding system. The movement has 21 joules, uh, has 21,600 beats per hour. Now, if you take a look at the front of the watch, you'll notice that has three hands for time, it has a power reserve indicator, and it also has a date function. Now this 50 meter case Hey folks, this is Mark with OrientWatchUSA.com and this is the newest disc model. The SKU for this model is ER0200DW. Now the reason why the disc model is a very very special model for us is because it uses a whole different way of displaying the hour. You'll notice from the face itself it has a very interesting and very colorful way of displaying the index. What you're really looking at is 13, actually 14 specific cuts.
Hey folks, it's Kevin with OrientWatchUSA.com. Today, we have to watch that we like to call the Sun and Moon. The Sun and Moon is a very unique watch and is named after the Sun and Moon complication, which is used to indicate whether it is AM or PM. Inside this watch is the Orient in-house caliber 46B46 movement, which also has the day, subdial, and date complication. Flip over the watch and you can examine the 46B46 movement through the exhibition screw case back. Up front though, a sapphire crystal is used 